If you are having a hard time selling print on demand t-shirts, there are other print on demand products you can sell that is getting just as much revenue. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you how to find these top trending products you can sell and how to create a design that can actually help you get sales on Etsy. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now our main software that we're gonna to use to create our print on demand mug is Kittle. Kittle is a great space if you are trying to create amazing designs, but do not have graphic design experience. They have a ton of templates that can help you speed up the process in regards to your design and with all of their features like AI, even with their text feature, it allows the design process to be really easy, yet it gives amazing results. Now, if you wanna check out Kiddo on your own, they were so kind to give my audience a discount code to try them out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. I'll make sure I leave all the details to the discount code down in my description box below. So here are some example products we found as we did our research phase here. We see this product is a bestseller. It does have that specific person that we're targeting today is a grandma. And this is just another name people have for the grandma. They have Mimi, Gigi, Nana. And it's just one of the ways you can bring in that further niche quality to your designs by focusing on different terminologies for a person. So in this case today, this is definitely the trend that we're going to follow. We're going to use a different name, not Nana. We're going to use the term Mimi. But I like how they have the wildflowers up here and the customizations with the names of the grandchildren at the bottom. So we know this product is in demand. 11 people bought this in the last 24 hours. We know it is a best selling product. So we know this design here is doing extremely well. And there's multiple products that's in the grandma niche that's really, you know, following this theme of using flowers as well as personalization names here on the mugs. Again, best selling product, 14 people bought this in the last 24 hours. So these type of mugs here we know are doing extremely well. And just to give you some more clarity, anything really that's personalized for the mug itself is doing well. We see this product here, bestseller, five plus people in the cart. Again, this one here is a custom product as well. 64 people bought this in the last 24 hours, but you definitely want to find what is trending, what is doing well, and merge those things into your own unique design. All right, so here we are in Kittle. And one of the things I definitely want to do is go into the search bar and search a mug. This will give me some great templates to look at. And again, because we are creating more so of a simple design, one of the things I definitely want to look at is just the text itself, the font choice. And then again, this is going to save me time as I move forward, adding some more things in. So they have a lot of options here you can choose from. But in our case today, I want to go with this one here because I already know the retro font is doing well. I see some good things already lined up with the text that I want to add to my design. And again, we're going to keep this very simple, but yet adding some great personalization to make our product stand out even more. So from here, I will click on this. I will use this design and we have our specific design up. Now, automatically when I come here, I just want to take away some things I'm not going to use. So I'm not going to use these things here, but I am going to use this font uh, choice as well as this font choice here. Now, again, we're creating a uh, grandma mug to sell just not for the Christmas season, but we know grandmothers have birthdays all year round and we have special moments like Mother's Day that is going to come up as well. So we definitely want to be mindful of creating a specific product for a specific person. So in our case today, we definitely want to create this to be some type of terminology related to grandma. We know Gigi is selling well. We know Mimi is selling well. So we definitely want to add in those things here. In our case today, we're just going to create just a Mimi text here for us to design with and i'm not going to keep anything at the bottom but as you can see here adding in different type of styles and text together can be a great way for you to stand out as well so i want to delete that and i want to have this meme here at the bottom and one of the things we see that work well on these different designs just not for the mugs but sweatshirts and t-shirts is having Mimi and have some wildflowers in the back of it. So we definitely want to add some things here, but we also want to add in some personalization. Now, being that we're going to use a popular phrase that's you know doing well on t-shirts, we definitely want to add that phrase over into our design here. And one of the phrase, one of the phrases that's doing well right now is my favorite people call me. Then we have that specific name here. So we'll change this text here. Then I have a little transformation on this from the original design. All I have to do here is just take out the transformation. Now I have the text here and I just want to make this a little bit smaller just to fit the size. 
And now I have my text in front of me where it says my favorite people call me. And then we're going to have this specific name here, Mimi. Now, I'm not even worrying about changing the color of the text right now because I definitely want to make sure I have all of my text lined up to where I want it to be. This design is more so going to feature some wildflowers here in the middle. And we definitely want to add in some personalization at the bottom here. So let's add in some specific personalization to this product. Push the letter T on my keyboard here. And I have my text in front of me. And what I see to work well when we are bringing in personalization names is just the script font. So I can go over here to the right hand side and Killer has a lot of great font choices already in their software and they make it easy for you to actually find different type of font choices you want to go with. So you can literally go over to script and see all things related to script. But in our case today, I already have one plan that I want to use. And I definitely want to use this one here. And now I can add in these names at the bottom. So these names are just going to be placeholders for the customer to see what this product is and how it can be personalized. So I added my placeholder names here. All right, so now I added in the personalized names here at the bottom, which I think will be a great uh, value point for our customers just to customize this particular product to their liking. Now I can go here and change the colors. And because we're going to use this for a white mug, I want to change my colors up here to be black. All I have to do here is highlight the text that I want to change color for. Head over to test color and move this all the way over to black. And this specific color here, we know a lot of this pastel color is doing well. So we can change the individual letters here if we want to. If you want to just change one by itself, then obviously we'll go over here, add in a pastel color. And then what I also like to do is just to put some type of outline to this particular retro style font just to make these colors stand out even more. So that's where I will head over to border and just increase the border of our design, change the color to black. And now we have that outline there. So it's something that you can definitely do. If I want to merge in my letters a little bit more because they're too spaced out, I can go to AV and again, I can just merge in my letters a little bit more. And I think that's the overall style that I definitely want to focus on. So we have the entire layout of our design made. But one of the things I definitely want to do here is add in that wildflower design to really put behind our text with Mimi and definitely allow our product to stand out even more. So let's go into Creative Fabric and find some great uh, wildflower designs we can add to our Kittle design here. So here's one of the wildflower designs. We're definitely going to download and upload to our Kittle design here. I think this would be great for us to add behind the Mimi text that we have just to make our product stand out even more. And again, we know these type of elements are doing well. So let's go ahead and download this and we're going to upload this element to Kittle. So if we do have an element we want to use that is outside of the Kittle platform, the only thing we have to do here is go over to upload on the left hand side. And then we have to go ahead and upload our design here or we can just simply drag and drop it. And we have our design here. And again, it's just that easy to add this to our overall design. All right, so now that we have our wildflower here, we definitely want to add this to the back of our Mimi text. So I can move this down to the bottom here, move this Mimi down as well. And if I want to put these particular wildflowers in the back of my design, all I have to do here is hit right click and I just say move to the back. Now we have that in the back of our design here. All right, so we have our wildflowers added here. And one of the things I like to do with the top of my design is instead of us just having this text up here at the top, I definitely want to have this curved because again, this is going to be on a mug and I think that'll look better for our design here. Now, if I do want to have this curved, all I have to do is highlight the text. I can go down to transformation and I have a lot of different things I can choose to transform my text. But for my specific design here, I definitely want to keep it at a circle. I just want to bring this down over my wildflower design. And if I want to make it larger, I can just grab the edges here and bring this down even further. And if I want to fix the curve or the circle to be a little tighter to fit in my design, all I have to do here, all I have to do here is hit edit transform, grab the bottom here and move this dot in closer to be tighter or bring it out to make it wider. And in my case today, I think that is a perfect match for our design. Now with these personalized names at the bottom, we know these names are just here for placeholders because the customer is going to tell us what names to put in here. So we definitely want to leave these names here so the customers can know how they can customize this. But one of the things I definitely want to add here is something to space out these names. And so I want to add a heart 
with every name that started here just to bring in a little bit more design and so if i want to add in some things kittle has a great list of elements to choose from so for me to find the elements i can head over to the left hand side go to elements here and i just want to focus on adding in a heart so i would put in the word heart and I will find one that I think will work well. And just a simple heart here, I think will be great for our design. And then I can add this heart to the edge of my text here, just to make that stand out even more with our entire design. And adding in something like this, I think to every single person's name will be a great addition to our product. All right, so I think everything is done with our design here. We have our phrase, my favorite people call me. We have a Mimi and we have the specific personalization names at the bottom here with our hearts. And one of the things I like to do is that if everything is dialed in the right way, I like to group everything together so that I can make sure that everything is locked into place. And now from here, if I want to see what this looks like before I export this out to use on my print on demand provider, I can head over to their mockups. And this is what I like to do just to make sure that everything is dialed in the right way for our design. I want to just type in the word mug because this is exactly what we're going to be selling this on. And I have some options here to use for a mock-up. So I'll click this one here and I'll change the background to be white for our mug or change the mug to be white because that is the type of product we're going to sell. And here's my design here. I can change the size of it. And again, this is how this will be printed on my product. So this is a great way again for you just to make sure everything is dialed in place. Or you have all the text in the right area. Everything is aligned the proper way before you even download this and export this into your print on demand software. And so if I want to look at another one here, I can go into multiple different mug mockups here that Kittle has. I can use some of these on Etsy if I want to. I think this would be perfect for us to sell on our Etsy shop. Now, if everything is good here, all I have to do is rename my product. And I have the option here to remove the background here if I want. I can do the same thing up top when I download this and I can remove the background just to make sure it's gone. And I can hit optimize quality, hit PNG. And now this will save as a transparent background I can use for my print on demand mug. I can start selling on Etsy. All right, so here I am in Printify. And for me to upload my design to a mug, all I have to do is go to catalog. I will head over to home and living, go over to mugs. And again, you can choose which mug you want to sell on. Again, I see the major sizes being the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce. In our case today, we'll just stick with the basic 15 ounce mug. And I can pick a print on demand provider, which is District Photo, start designing. And now I can drag and drop my design over here into this specific layout. And what I like to do with these mugs here is just to have my design on one side of the mug and then the design on the other. So I can move this down to size and I have my design here. Then I just want to duplicate this and then move this over to the other side of our mug. And if I want to see exactly how this will be printed out, I can head over to preview. And I like to focus on the left and the right hand side just to make sure everything is lined up properly. And I have this here. Mimi Design, and I have this here on the right hand side. Mimi Design, I can see exactly how this will look as well in person if this were to be printed out for my customer. And so, again, everything is lined up well. I think it's just great for us to start selling on our print on demand shop. Again, utilizing some great templates and some great text design and Kittle will allow you to speed up your process and create products just like this. You can start selling on etsy so as you can see finding amazing designs to use for your print on demand mug with etsy is really easy to do once you know what designs are trending what elements to use what phrases to use and finding high quality templates in kittle will help you speed up the entire process now again if you want to check out kittle on your own i make sure to leave all of the details to that discount code down in my description box below for you to test and to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to go over the step-by-step -step process. We're actually selling a mug on Etsy. However, if you want to learn that next step, click this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.